the false sense of security. Before being diagnosed with cancer, I, like many others, held on to a false sense of security. It is easy to fall into the belief that cancer is something that happens to other people, celebrities on the news, acquaintances, or even close friends, but never to oneself. As I navigated my daily life, I heard the stories, saw the statistics, and observed how this disease touched so many, yet still, a part of me felt immune, as though I was somehow shielded by the grace of luck or providence. I would often sit in gatherings, whether at church, family reunions, or work meetings, and think about the probability that some of the people in the room would be struck by cancer. It was a statistical reality, yet it felt distant, as if the numbers were mere abstractions. My family seemed untouched, and in some ways, I felt grateful for this. I even prayed to God that if cancer was destined to touch us, it would come to me and spare the ones I loved. But in the back of my mind, there was still this notion, we were safe. I was safe. This false sense of security is something many of us cling to, often unconsciously. The very nature of cancer, its randomness, its unpredictability allows for this illusion. We look at our healthy routines, our habits, and our lives and think, I'm doing all the right things. I should be fine. But the truth is, cancer does not discriminate. It does not adhere to the patterns of logic we impose upon it. A healthy lifestyle, while important, is not a guarantee of immunity. This misconception, this belief that we are somehow safe if we follow a certain formula, creates a dangerous sense of complacency. It lulls us into thinking we can control everything, that if we eat right, exercise, and avoid harmful behaviors, cancer will pass us by. While these measures are important and do reduce risks, they do not eliminate them. The reality is far more nuanced. Cancer can strike even those who seem the least likely to face it. It is not a respecter of plans, of dreams, or even of prayers. In retrospect, I realized that my reliance on statistics, and even my prayers, had led me into a false mindset. I believed that somehow, by acknowledging cancer's existence and offering myself as a shield for my family, I could stave off the inevitable. But cancer is not something we can negotiate with. It doesn't respect the boundaries we set for it in our minds. This false sense of security is perhaps one of the greatest barriers to early detection and prevention. We delay checkups, ignore warning signs, or downplay symptoms because we don't really believe it will happen to us. And then, when cancer does arrive, it feels as though the ground has shifted beneath us because we were not truly prepared. Understanding the ubiquity of cancer in society is one thing, but recognizing that we are not exempt from its reach is another. This realization, though uncomfortable, is crucial. It forces us to confront the fact that none of us are guaranteed protection, no matter how well we live or how much we pray. But it also empowers us to take action, to be vigilant, and to approach our health with both humility and responsibility. The false sense of security is just that false. And acknowledging this uncomfortable truth is the first step in embracing the reality that cancer is not a distant possibility, but a present reality that we must all be prepared for. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.